All right, what is up, guys? Going for another quick run. Haven't turned the bike on in a while, so this is gonna be a cold start. It cut on right away, though. But yeah, today, I'm gonna try and do the seats and the bride fabric. Hit up the homie Mad Lit. See, you know, I don't like to copy people, you know. I'm doing the all black. He's got the blue seat with the, I think it's the gradation passenger. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to, I didn't want to copy, you know. So I was like, you know, let me uh, hit him up, see if it's okay. Because I think, as far as I know, he's the only person I've seen as far as like on a motorcycle. I know a lot of people deal with cars. Um, I'm not too much in the car scene though. Um, I also got things going underway with monster fairings um, to do a cool carbon fiber of the fairings. Uh, just a full carbon fiber of the bike. And then this will probably stay blue. I may get it wrapped or I might just keep it blue and then just do blue accents. I'm not really a blue guy at all. It's kind of grown on me now though since having the bike blue. Um, it's kind of grown on me. 107, all right, we can get going.
right. For, yeah, for the helmet. Oh, it's um. If you just type is in like chin mount. No, if you go to like, just type in chin mount on Google. Uh, it's a company. They're literally called chin mount, and they make them specifically for your helmet. Okay. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. No, that's fine. Ugh, thanks. You too. Alright, now let's play the... Can this fit in my backpack? Game. And the answer is no. And you already know that, silly. So why are you even asking? Also, that dude is freezing. I remember those days. <sighs> Skating. But I was in Ohio. And that's how I know he is freezing right now, dude. Because this, this amount of code, it would be like November. And, uh, yeah. So, this backpack is legendary. is kind of you know not so great um it's very hard that's what i'll say right off the bat it is very hard to do um as far as getting the staples in that's where i had a lot of trouble i'll show you guys the stapler i started off with and then i'll show you what i ended up switching to so i went and got this which i thought would work uh, you can get this at like your local Marshalls or something uh, this will not cut it it definitely won't penetrate the plastic and the nails aren't sturdy enough to even withstand trying to go through the plastic they just crumple up and bend so then I ended up switching to this guy uh, and this barely did it um, you really gotta find a try to find the flattest surface you can so say if I'm doing this now, you'll put it up like this and just put all your weight on that point and then just press down and fire. And that may get it through a decent bit. As you can see, some of these aren't all the way through. Um, so just make sure you kind of have it all, at least the best that you can do and you can end up with the same result. I didn't do the strap around. Um, I did not know how to really sew that strap together, so I just left it out. And I'll show you the main seat. This is the main seat. It went a lot quicker uh, because I kind of knew what to do. I pretty much just cut out the fabric, hit it with some spray adhesive. Um, I pulled the edges, these two, after I did the adhesive, I folded the sides down. I did these two like spaces here to make sure it was tight in the middle. 
and then I stretched forward. Um, as you can see, I made a seam here to kind of spread that out and to get this curve that's in the seat. Uh, I did the same at the bottom, made a seam, spread them out sideways to do that. And then after that, I slowly just worked my way on the sides to get all of this tight throughout the seat here. And after that, I just worked my way in from the inside to the outside corners on both sides. And that was pretty much it. Um, again, mine, you know, it's not that polished because it's very hard getting the staples to go through. I may just take it to like an upholster uh, and have them just re-staple it with whatever tool that they use because maybe it's air powered or something. So if you guys have an air powered one, let me know how that goes for you. But other than that, I think it came out great. Uh, you won't even see all this extra fabric that I left anyway. For the most part, it'll just look like this, which I think is really awesome. All right, guys, so this is the final look, and man, it looks great. When you get into certain angles, it really makes it pop out. I'm so happy I did this. But uh, anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. It really helps with the algorithm. Leave a comment if you try this yourself, or even if you try using, like, the air compressed uh, Dell gun. So let me know how that goes. Um, you might have a better time stapling doing it that way. But man, I'm so happy that I done this. And it's going to look really great with the carbon fiber fairings. <sighs> but anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace out.